Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. Today is April 1st and it is time to wrap up our book cover inspiration for March and the reveal for April. So um, I had some uh, people send me in their pictures, which is wonderful. The book this month, and I'll put it up here, uh, two different covers because those are the two that came out uh, when I was Googling covers. So those are the two covers and it's Cradle and All by James Patterson. And um, it was a book that I believe he first pub published years and years ago. So I had never read it because I started later on uh, reading James Patterson. And I know a lot of people like it because it's murder mystery, but not too gory. And um, he's a really good writer. And I know he does a lot of collaborations with uh, other authors too. So uh, lots and lots of James Patterson books out there. So let's start by sharing some of the projects. I moved over a little bit so I can put the uh, pictures up here. And um, our first picture is a square and it's made for, by Bella. And Bella has a YouTube channel called Bella's Crochet Gifts. And um, she puts out great content. You should go check her out. She's younger and uh, very enthusiastic. She does um, some yarn dyeing and I know she can't use wool. So a lot of it's cotton. So uh, I would go check her out. I like watching her. She's one of my go-to. As soon as she puts up a video, I'm there for her. So this is her square and Bella's squares are quite large. I know she does uh, full size uh, double and queen size blankets for donations. So she's been doing a square a month for our uh, book cover inspiration. Thank you, Bella. And I don't have the pictures in front of me. I'm just reading off my notes, which are just right down here. So uh, our next um, uh, person, sorry, is Deborah. And Deborah has been doing a, uh, a square a month. And it's a great way to uh, follow make-alongs. If you don't have that much time, you do a square a month. At the end of the year, you have 12 squares. Put them together and you get a lovely lapgan blanket. So Deborah has done her square also. And like I said, I don't have the colors and pictures, but um, you had the two choices of books to choose from. And our next person is Gail. Gail S. And uh, she made a reading shawl from Ophelia Talks. And her uh, four-year-old granddaughter picked out the colors. She matched them up to the book cover. So I thought that was awesome. It's great that we can get our grandchildren involved with it. She used a Red Heart Super Saver yarn and a J-hook. And I just love this pattern. And she loves it so much. She's already started two more of the Ophelia Talks reading shawl. So uh, this was the reading shawl she submitted for the uh, book cover inspiration. Thank you, Gail. And then our next one is from Deb M. And it's a square. The pattern is from Bag o Day, Amazing Granny Square. And she used Red Heart and Cherry. Uh, let me see. Lion Brand Ferris Wool Full Moon. And a Karen One Pounder in white. She said it went a little wonky because of the choices of her yarn. But you know what, Deb, as soon as it gets uh, stitched into a blanket, you'll never even notice it. It'll all straighten out. So I wouldn't even worry about that. And then our next submission was from Meredith. Meredith um, has two beautiful uh, dogs at home, I believe. And um, she's been doing donations for the shelter. She's been making cat beds and dog beds. So this is, I believe, for a little cat. And it's uh, 12 by 20 inches. And um, she used the mile a minute uh, pattern from the Secret Yarnery. The yarn she used is uh, Loops and Thread Shiny, which is so similar to a Karen Simply Soft in the color Blue Moon. Oh, and um, the white is Karen Simply Soft. So they go really well together. She used a five millimeter hook for this. Thank you, Meredith. And then Rebecca from Yarn and Pajamas. Hi, Rebecca. Um, she did some shamrock coasters in white and green. And the tutorial is from Pora Pora uh, Crochet. So those are the submissions this week. And I just love seeing everybody's uh, items that they make. And they're all so different. And like I said, if you don't have that much time and you want to join because I know there's so many out there and I've been doing so many of the uh, mouths too. Uh, 
a square is perfect because you do one a month and um, at the end of the year, there's a lot of, you know, if you're into a few different uh, mouths, then uh, you get a few lapgans or one huge blanket. So uh, it's so good to be able to join and participate in everyone's make-alongs. So I decided to use the, uh, the white. I know my blue blue fan but I decided to use the whites and the greens and everything so uh, the yarns I used in my blanket and I use most of them and I used red hearts because these are donated to uh, seniors homes and it lasts and they can get thrown into the uh, huge wash machines and not to worry so the first color is frosty green and it's showing up a little bit lighter. It's later in the day. It's uh, the day after uh, Easter Sunday. And I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter. And the sun is shining. So it's getting a little bit washed out today. But it is frosty green. And then white, red heart white. And the pale yellow. I had a scrap ball of that and pale yellow. And the final color I used was turquoise. And like they're a little bit brighter, like I said. So uh, those are the colors I used in this month's uh, blanket. And the uh, pattern I used was called Flower to Circle. And it was uh, a pattern on YouTube from Tiffany Hansen and the tutorial is great. It's a short little tutorial and easy to follow. So that was the pattern I used. And this is my blanket here. I decided to uh, join it and it's getting washed out. I'll put a, color, uh, a picture up here. I just so decided to join it with a slip stitch through the back loops on the back side. So it's a fairly flat. And I think it turned out fantastic. I love the colors. It's so fresh, fresh and bright, and just reminds me of spring so much. So that's the pattern. And I decided to put a lacy uh, border on it. And let me just grab it. Here it is here. I got this book on Amazon, and you know what? I love it. I'd recommend it to anybody. It's called Every Which Way Crochet Borders. 139 patterns for customizing uh, your edgings on your blankets, and it's by Eddie Ekman. And I used pattern number 80, I believe. Yes. And I'm just going to cover up. I'll give you, a, it gives you the instructions and then a chart, but I just want to cover up the instructions because it is a book. And this is done in blocks, but it is just beautiful. It's got every pattern, very simple to follow. And like I said, I'm glad it's getting washed out so I can show you some of the patterns. And I just love them from very lacy to very solid uh, patterns. See how beautiful they are? I just love it. So like I said, it was on Amazon and I'm so glad I got it. And another thing I like in the middle, it has um, this, so your book lies flat, so it's not curling up like that. So I really like, I forget what this is called right here, but um, I just love it, and I'd recommend it to anybody. So every which way crochet borders. So that was the border I put on it, and I thought it made a very, very pretty lacy border with um, the lacy... Uh, square that I made. So I'm so happy with this. I just love it. And it turned out a little bit bigger than um, 30 by 40, but just by a couple inches both ways because the squares ended up being 10 inches. So I just added the border and it's nice and lacy. So that was the blanket I made for our March book cover inspiration. And then, let's see, just flip my page here. Our, um, our book for April. Da, 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 da. It is, I started reading it uh, a couple days ago, and 
it's about a boy and his dog and I'm not sure where it's going to go but um, not uh, one dog but two dogs and uh, I'm not sure what era it's, I'm going to say the 40s, 50s, 60s and it's in the Appalachian Mountains I believe is the setting so um, I'm really starting to enjoy it and uh, a boy and his dog and there's lots and lots of colors in the uh, book. And it is Red Fern Grows by Wilson Rowles. And uh, I had a couple submissions, but the one that came up on the random uh, picker was submitted by Neva from Manic Mama Musing. So Neva, if you can email me your address, I'll send you out a couple stitch markers. So thank you uh, for recommending this book. It's a book that I would never have read unless... Um, it was on the submission. So this is why I love it. You get to read the book if you're a reader. If not, just look at the cover and uh, pick out the colors you uh, want to use for your creation for the month. So on that note, I am going to go and try and find some yarn. I uh, have no idea what I'm going to make yet. I've been thinking about something for my uh, youngest grandson. He's going to be turning three this year. And um, hopefully I can incorporate it and figure it out. I'm going to try and do maybe a C2C and design my own pattern for it. He's into cars and trucks and everything. So we'll see what happens there. Still not sure. It might just end up being granny squares again. But um, I like being able to. And I do. I spend hours in the morning. I'm um, drinking my coffee, going through uh, patterns and seeing which ones I like for my uh, the mouse. And I can't wait to uh, get on other people's channels because I love the movie Marquee Challenge. And I'm really enjoying the Under the Sea Mal by, I think it's Re Repeat Crafter Me. Yeah. And um, Bella, I'll be looking for your uh, video for my Marquee Challenge to pick out the colors there. And then there's also the other... Uh, Mal I follow is at Judy's Creations and uh, she does a bird mal every month and the colors are always so bright and beautiful and the wonderful thing about all these mals is if you just one color pops out at you just do that so um, I hope you have a wonderful week and uh, we're off to a beautiful beautiful April 1st April Fool's Day today not uh we don't do anything about here but i'm just looking out my window the sun is shining and hopefully spring is here and um warmer weather for us to uh enjoy outside so on that note i am going to get this uh uploaded and after my crazy easter dinner with everyone over here try and put my house back together we have to move furniture out of the living room because it's living room and dining room are all open and we always put an extra table in so uh my husband got rid of the table and i have to tidy up wash the floors you know after i have everybody over here it's always a disaster and i actually have some uh pots still sitting in the uh the oven that are just soaking that need to be washed so a lot to do today but um, i wanted to get this video up first and hopefully i'll be able to get it out sometime today so i will talk to you soon bye for now